there are some companies that have continually increased their dividends year on year for at least a decade. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about nine of those. I'm going to start with some companies that I've definitely discussed on this channel before and that are very popular. But towards the end of the video, I'm going to speak about some companies that perhaps you haven't heard of before or that I just haven't spoken about on this channel before. Companies that continually increase their dividends year on year for a certain amount of years are normally called dividend aristocrats or a dividend king. Now, this terminology is way more common in the US. So when stocks meet a certain set of criteria in the US, they are either given the title of being a dividend king or a dividend aristocrat. Typically speaking, to be a dividend aristocrat, you need to be an S&P 500 company that has raised their dividends every single year for at least 25 years. But when it comes to the UK, it's not as straightforward. And trying to find a company that has met these criteria, so a company that has increased their dividends year on year for 25 years, is honestly really, really hard to come by. So for that reason, to be a UK dividend aristocrat, you have to be increasing your dividends year on year for at least 10 years. And you can also have years where you keep the dividend the same. It doesn't have to necessarily increase. Seeing companies that are able to increase their dividends every year is a really, really good sign that they are financially stable. And it gives dividend investors a little bit of security that this is a good company to invest in and hold for the long haul. Now, obviously that's not the only metric you need to look at, but it's definitely a good one. So the first one that we have on this list is National Grid who are a massive, massive UK electricity and gas provider. But actually, they also operate in the US in just a couple of states. National Grid pay out dividends twice every single year with a dividend yield coming in at 5.1%. And if we have a look here, we can see that they're a picture of health when it comes to them rising their dividends. You can see that every single year since 2012, they have actually made an increase to their dividend payout, which is really, really great to see. In terms of performance, over the last one month, National Grid are up by nearly 16%, six, uh, six months down by 18.4%. And then if we look at the one year picture, up by 1.42%, five years up by 12.77%, which is a great sign. And if we max out here, we can see how strong this company really is. And you might argue that they're at a bit of a discount right now, if of course you're interested. The next company is Diageo, which of course are a global beverage provider. They pay out twice a year with a yield coming in at 2.1%, which of course isn't as high as we've just seen with National Grid, but it's still respectable. Their, their dividend increase chart looks really, really nice. It's quite a nice curve here. And what you can see is this company really, really have hit the nail on the head here. They have seen a dividend increase every single year since 2007. So yeah, they are really, really doing well here. And of course, in my opinion, this is only my opinion, they are a fantastic company to have and one that I do have in my portfolio. So let's just take a look at their performance. Over the last one month, they are up by just under 3%. Six months down by 2.67%, year to date down by 9.31. And if we look at the five year performance, they've had a great five year run. They're up by 44.52%. And if we max it out here, you can just see how much they've truly increased. Again, in the last year or so, they've been bouncing up and down. So now could be a good time to pick up some Diageo if you're interested. The next one is GSK, a pharmaceutical and healthcare company. And not only are they innovating vaccines, they are also producing healthcare products that a lot of us have in our homes, such as Beecham's and Sensodyne. They pay four times a year with a dividend yield coming in at 4.4%. And GSK are a bit of a funny one because like I said, in the UK, to be considered a dividend aristocrat, you have to either increase your dividends year on year for 10 years, or you have to keep them the same. And GSK are one company that I know of, and probably the only one that have kept their dividends the same year on year on year. So let's just scroll down here. What you can see is that since 2012, they have increased their dividends to 2014, but then they've kept them the exact same. So you know exactly what you're getting with this company. Over the last one month, they're up by 3%, six months down by nearly 29%, 
one year down by 28.15, five years down by 11.52. And if we max out here, we can see that they are quite discounted right now if you think this is a valuable company. The fourth one on the list is again, another one that I have. I have all of these so far, and that is Legal and General who are in the financial services sector. So they provide pensions and insurance and things like that. They pay twice a year with a massive dividend yield of 7.8%. Now, do your due diligence. Dividend yields that are really high aren't always necessarily a good thing, um, but I, I like this company, but obviously you need to look at all of their fundamentals before investing. You can see here that since 2011, they have been increasing their dividend yield it stayed the same between 2019 and 2020, but that still fits the picture here. Over the last one month, they are up by nearly 16%. Six months up by a respectable, but a small 1.26%. One year down by 14.2%. Five years down by 6.35%. And if we max it out here, you can see that they've been a little bit up and down over the years, but this is still a good picture and a company that you might want to add to your dividend portfolio. The next one we have is one that I don't have, but I've definitely got my eye on, and that is United Utilities, who are the UK's largest water and waste management company. They pay twice a year with a dividend yield of 4.3%. And if we just have a look here, they have also been increasing, increasing their dividends year on year since about 2011. I'll say we can see here since 2012, they have been increasing every single year, which is again, a great sign. Over the last one month, they are up by nearly 22%, which is actually really, really good. Six months, slightly different picture, down by 9.2%. One year, down by 5.22. Five years, a great picture. They are up by 27, just over 27%. Had a bit of a dip here very, very recently. They've had a bit of a dip, but they're on their way up again max it out and you can see the picture here. The next one on our list is Croda, who are a chemical company producing chemicals for industries. So chemicals that go into personal care and home care, healthcare, all of these different things, they are producing the chemicals needed for those. They pay dividends twice a year, interim and final. Dividend yield quite small, 1.5%. And they have been also increasing their dividend payout since 2012. Over the last one year, they are up by 11, one month, sorry, up by 11.18%. Six months, 2.99%. One year, down by 28.7%. They've had a very rough year. Five years, up by 61.71%. So that's really, really good. Max out here, and we can see that they've had a really, really great run. And right now, You'd have to look into it a little bit more, but they could be at a very good price. Cranswick are a company that I've not really spoken about on this channel before, but they are actually in the FTSE 250. So not in the FTSE 100, but in the FTSE 250. And they are a UK food producer. They pay twice a year with a dividend payout of, dividend yield, sorry, of 2.4%. And you can see this graph here, they've been really, really strong in increasing their dividends every single year. So you can see this whole, this whole thing is green. So since 2007, they have been increasing their dividends. In terms of performance, they are up by 18.81% over the last one month. Six months up by 0.41%. One year down by just under 14%. Five years up by 4.36%. And then if we max it out, you can see the picture here. They've had a great run. And again, now could be the time to add this one to your portfolio should you want it. The penultimate stock that we have here today is Ashmore Group, who are an investment manager specializing in the emerging markets. They pay twice a year with quite a high dividend yield of 6.8%. And if we take a look at how they've been increasing their dividends, they have increased their dividends between 2010 and 2015. Then they kept them the same, increased them slightly here, and then the same again. So if, we, if this was a US company, they wouldn't be a dividend aristocrat at all. But in the UK, like I said, it's slightly different. Over the last one month, they're up by 21%. That's really, really good. Six months up by just over 1%. One year down by 26.85%. Five years down by 35.79%. And then just gonna max out here to show you 
yeah, they've not really been doing all that great since 2021. You'd have to look at some news and some information, you know, their earnings report to find out why. I've not done that yet, but it's not looking great for them at the moment. Mind you, they've had a little flick up here, so perhaps they're on, on the rise again. And the last one that we have on our list, again, is a FTSE 250 company, and it's Jupiter Fund Management. So they actually manage investment portfolios, both for private and institutional clients. They pay twice a year with a dividend yield, whoa, this is big, of 13.5%. Seeing a dividend yield like this would definitely, definitely make me want to really have a look into this and see why this is so high and whether this is a company that I would want to add to my portfolio. They have had a little bit of a, a different run compared to some of these other companies, but you can still see that they have been increasing their dividends from 2012 to 2017. And then since then, they've kept them the same. So they've not increased nor decreased. Over the last one month, this company is up by a really, really large 43%. Six months down by 25.66%. One year is not a great picture. They're down by 51.79%. Again, you'd have to see why that is. Five years, five years is not a good picture either. Down by 78.1%. And then if we max it out, we can see here that if this is a company that you did want and you did look at and you decided that they have good fundamentals and it's one you want to add, then right now they are very low in price compared to what they have been. But again, I can't say that this company is a great one to have because I have not looked at it myself. But of course, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you see a company that is increasing their dividends year on year for a long period of time, it can indicate that they are financially strong but please do not let that be the only indicator when deciding what stocks to buy. Like I said, a high dividend yield shouldn't be the only thing you look at, nor should whether they've been increasing their dividends year on year. There are many other things to consider, but do let me know if you've got any of the companies that I've discussed in today's video in your own portfolio. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with another video.